Well, this time of year brings cold temperatures to the state, and with those colder temps comes a danger of carbon monoxide in your home. Local 4's Andrew Collins has a closer look at how you can protect your home from carbon monoxide. Andrew? That's right, Alyssa. Carbon monoxide is a smokeless and odorless gas that can be deadly if not detected. But fortunately, there is a way you can protect your family through the use of carbon monoxide detectors. The National Fire Protection Association recommends that you place the alarms on, in a central location outside of each sleeping area on every level of your home. The director of Adams County Emergency Management, Ron Pugh, says carbon monoxide is dangerous because the people who get sick usually don't know they've been infected until it's too late. You know, carbon monoxide is, is the silent killer, as they say. Um, you don't know that when you kick it in your furnace or your hot water tank or, or maybe the pilot light's gone out, you don't know. Uh, you'll have no idea until you start getting groggy, getting headaches, or if it falls, you fall asleep with it, you know, it could be tragic. So it's important to have those carbon monoxide detectors to give you that early warning. Well, Pews also says it's important to keep an eye out on the expiration dates on your carbon monoxide alarms in order to make sure your family's protected. And in our next hour, we'll have some tips on what symptoms you need to look for for carbon monoxide poisoning. But for right now, I'll send it back over to Alyssa.